no one outside of our field really knows what a computer exploit even is. Watch popular TV series and movies, and you might think a computer exploit or hack takes seconds to occur and has several overlapping browser windows, flashing lights, and a taunting robotic voice. But in reality, a hack isn't usually that camera worthy. It can take weeks to develop and might be a single line of code that takes advantage of a bug in computer software. These software bugs also have a fairly straightforward explanation. Our developers are people. They're going to make mistakes. They're going to have bugs in their software. And some of these bugs are going to have software, are going to have security uh, implications, right? So there's, there's going to be some, some percentage of these flaws that are going to cause there to be a security problem, and then bad guys can take advantage of that. These bugs are Dr. Miller's particular passion. He has found countless vulnerabilities in Apple and Android products and is famous for compromising an iPhone by simply sending a malicious text message. At the NG Security Summit, audience members were left feeling a bit freaked out as Dr. Miller discussed his latest work in automotive security. He and colleague Chris Valasek remotely hacked a Jeep, controlling the radio, brakes, wipers, transmission, and steering. Their work ultimately led to a 2015 Chrysler recall of 1.4 million automobiles. Any software that takes input from the outside world, whether it's a phone or a computer or a car, like there's going to be vulnerabilities in that. You just have to try to design a system that, that is resilient to that. We need to all work together and, and talk to our vendors and talk to the people who make the products we use and, and tell them that we care about security and that we want them to do a better job than they we're doing right now.